So, Guilty Gear Beta Test Number Two. It's not out today. Relax. It's out May 13th. You can download it really early if you feel like it. But it starts May 13th and it ends May 16th. You fucking know I'm gonna crack out on this game. No other comments. I'm like, I'm happy that we have an actual date. Uh, I'm, I'm also happy that I'm gonna be home at the time. 24 hour stream, I'm not gonna say it's gonna happen, but I don't know, dog. That might be a good way to close that buddy out. Where, where I sleep on stream too. Oh, we get to play the dub. Oh, oh shit, son. We talk about survival of the fittest a lot, but all that really means is the skilled live and the unskilled die. Since you're clearly in that second group, maybe pick your fights a bit more carefully. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's never going to matter how much you want it when you're up against someone who can kill you with a sneeze. Wait, wait, wait. One step at a time. Stop, stop, stop. One step at a time. Crossplay is available between PS4 and PS5, just like before. And, of course, sorry to PC people. Uh, I will not talk about my feelings on PC fighting games. I feel bad for you guys uh, that you don't get to play. Please have some patience. It do be like that. Blame, blame SF5. That's all I have to say. Blame SF5. Playable modes versus uh, tutorial, which I will do this time. Don't let me not do it this time. Uh, training mode, you get to practice. I will, I will stream training mode as if I've never done it before. Online matches, the mode we will be playing a ridiculous amount of. And then, ooh, the player created rooms will not be available. Okay, playable characters. So I can click these, so why can I click these? Okay, yeah, I was like, why can I click on the people's names? Okay. Okay, so full cast available. So we get Anji and Ino along with the other characters. So that's pretty lit. Mr. Bad Guy himself. Battle balance has been adjusted. That's all we get. The classic. Changes from the previous open beta test. All right, now it gets interesting. Online mode, okay. The player can now select a dual station. Oh shit, Sardell, they did it. No, they didn't just say, I'm playing the wrong music, bro. My bad. I, I thought we were playing Guilty Gear. I didn't think we were playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Stribe, bro. I didn't know, dude. All right, so we gotta, we gotta pull up to the dual stations. Flux gonna pull up to the dual station so we can run sets. Meet me at the dual station. You're a third rate gamer with a third rate grappler. That was fucking terrible, but <laughs> third rate gamer with a fifth rate Potemkin. Fuck out my dual station, bro. Just stop. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Just stop it. Stop. Dude, I'm no. so glad they called it a dual stop. station. Oh my god, yes. A rematch function has been added, thank god. In the rank tower, you can rematch up to three times or until either player's recommended floor changes. In the open park, you can rematch as many times as both players agree to. Other features of the lobby have also been improved. Let's fucking go. I was trying to think of games that I play that don't have rematch, and it's not a lot. It's like Persona 4 Arena 1, Old Blaze Blue. That's all the ones I could think of off the top of my head. Like mo most of the games I played have the quick rematch. Battle balance adjustments. Let's see. When the same move is used more than a set number of times on combo, the opponent now falls more quickly. Let's see. Let's see. SMP. SMP. They 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 really do want to make the hit confirming like dummy easy, but it'd be like that. Aerial actions in general have been adjusted. Adjustments vary for each character. Using aerial attacks, double jumps, and air dashes now causes recovery on landing. Jumps and air dashes now cover less distance. Characters now enter an airborne state later after a jump begins. The command normal Ford P has been adjusted to work as an anti-air attack. Adjustments vary by character. Hitbox has been extended upwards and the hurt box has been reduced. The attack is active for longer. Recovery time has been increased after Blocking and attack into midair. The overall balance has been adjusted from general game mechanics to individual character abilities. Hmm. So are are they are they saying are they saying that you can't move like a dummy? Is is that are they trying to say that you need to move properly in this game? Is that what they're trying to tell us? This jumping change is so fucking good. Real real talk, it is so goddamn good. It's so good. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I think that changes Goblin. The only issue I have with it is like, it has to be done on a system level. 
that's the thing that bothers me. But the concept is great. The concept is great. Were you ready for me to say that? Did, did you think I was going to be like, oh my god, they're limiting our options? What do you mean we can't jump? Do you think I was going to be that guy? Did you think I was going to be that guy for real? It's funny too, because normally a really common thing that they do it to like actually make the game easier is make poor, let's say poor movement less punishable, right? But I actually fuck with this change a lot. One of the things I really dislike about Dragon Ball is how good shit movement is. It really fucking pisses me off. How how good, like you gotta watch people. I, I mean movement without purpose, lazy movement, moving in spaces with no intent and how hard it is to stop people from doing that. And, and all, a lot of the ways that people found in Dragon Ball to punish that, they fucking nerf because people keep complaining that they can't just jump around. Come on, man. And you remember, a lot of people's complaints about this game originally was jumping being too strong. Me too, by the way. I, I thought it was... I thought I could play the beta version for a little while longer as it was, but I like this change a lot. I like this change so much. One of the most striking things about Strive compared to previous versions is the fucking air dash. So think think about think about the option sets here. Let's learn let's nerd it out. Think about the option sets, right? Uh, and let me give you a visual too. Let's 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 bring up uh, Guilty Gear. Think about this. Jumping is already strong in the current Guilty Gear. Actually, the the only difference is that anti air is also really strong. And also, people are just used to, like, the game is so old that, like, people at basically every skill level have an idea of how the game is supposed to go. With Strive, we don't have that type of idea yet, right? So, jumping, what they did before with Strive is what they've been doing with basically all new games. Where, like, the movement, they change the movement, they raise the damage. That's always, like, their go-to to make the game easier. Here we have Elegant Soul. I've said many things about Soul, but overall, I like Soul. I like Soul. Soul is a cool guy. When a Guilty Gear character jumps, they have a ton of options. Th this is not this is not even talking about Strive, right? You have Air Dash at any time. You have Back Dash at any time. You can double jump as well. And usually characters have some type of uh, thing to vary their air momentum like dragon ball so soul for example he could do not that don't do that <laughs> uh he could do a bandit revolver rc to kind of propel him he could use his dive kick to stall him in the air right so when he jumps at you you're like okay he has this jump heavy with no recovery that's hard to anti-air he can go back he can go forwards he can double jump he can alter his air momentum that's that's in current guilty gear right then with strive you have to also add the variable air dash where you fucking lunge at, at different angles depending on when you press the button on top of that and your anti-air is not as good and he still has all this stuff already on top of that and your anti-air does no fucking damage in, in this game i'll always get a combo how much damage i do is up to me right it's up to me. I could do, I could do a really basic combo. I go for a hard combo for more damage. Blah blah. blah right. Strive like you have weaker anti-air options, and the person who's jumping has the same amount of options with one that's changed. Uh, that is positive for the person who's doing the jumping. Right. So it's it's hard to deal with. It's hard to deal with. And I was already cool with it, kinda, because like every new game is like that these days, where they keep making jumping better and stuff. So this change is like a welcome change. I'm not gonna lie. I fuck with this change a lot. I really want to see what it looks like by character though. Cause for example, right? Jumps and air dashes now cover less distance. So here's an example. Cause Giovanna has a really far dash jump. It covers actually a long range. And then there's characters like Milia who her air dash doesn't go fucking anywhere. Her air dash is pretty short. So like I'm able to think of characters who have really short air dashes and I'm able to think of characters who have really long duration jumps or far jumps. Or you can think about characters that uh, aren't even in the game yet. So another one would be like um, like uh, Anji, right? So Anji has a dash super jump that is really in ACR is really big and goes far. We don't know if they're going to change it like that. We don't know how they're going to change it. Stuff like that. So I'm interested in seeing uh, how this sentence applies by character. 
because uh, I'm sure they're just it's just a blanket statement, right? Characters now enter an airborne state later after a jump begins. So I'm trying to compare it. The closest thing this sounds like to me is like uh, in uh, in Persona, how you weren't uh, you couldn't block in the air for like five frames. Something like that. We, we'd have to like see what it looks like this one because it longer there's d longer pre jump frames. They could just say it. That's how it is in Dragon Ball as well. No, Dragon Ball is four frame jump start up. And then once once you jump, once you're like in the air, you can just block everything. You can just block everything. Uh, I'm not I'm not actually going to say it's more jump start up though. I'm not going to say it. I think this could be a couple things. The command normal 6P has been adjusted to work as an anti-air attack. Adjustments vary by character. This I want to see. You can't block during the pre- Yeah, you during the jump startup. I don't know where- When did this pre-jump thing- During the jump startup, when the jump is starting, you can't block for four frames. Once the four frame is over, you are in the air and you can block everything. So Persona is like Dragon Ball, except after frame four, you're in the air. But for five frames, you can't block anyway, which was a really good answer. And if that was in Dragon Ball, people would fucking go nuts. They would be so fucking mad if it was like that in Dragon Ball. I just want I just want to punish people for jumping, bro. Yeah, the question is, do we get combos or not? Like, how did they go about it? Is it you get a combo or do you not get a combo? And if and if one character gets a combo and the others don't, you know, it's well, oh my God, we'll see. We shall see. Overall, I like I like the change though. I like the change. More updates are implemented through the game, such as menu screens. All right. So they're talking about rollback. We know rollback was amazing. The values displayed on screen during matches. MS. This refers to the ping between you and your opponent. This changes depending on your internet connection and the distance between you and your opponent. The lower this number is, the smoother your match will feel. Okay rollback frames this refers to the average number of frames rolled back during a set period of time this number increases when the connection is poor and display can become unstable when a person passes a certain point makes sense when reporting your feedback or any errors during online matches please include the above numbers as they appear in the match that's very important don't forget guys as the purpose of this open beta test is to test the network under a variety, a wide variety of connection signals, there will not be any filtering based on connection strength or a display of the opponent's connection before matches. Damn. Okay. Yeah, that's basically it though. So the big thing for people were the shit about jumps, huh? I fuck with it.